Good morning, members of the committee. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to address you this morning. My name is Volker Gietz. I'm the director and CEO of VITO, the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization here at the University of Saskatchewan. For those of you that may not be familiar with us, we are a research center here at the university. And we really, during this um, response to the pandemic, have become one of Canada's go-to places for COVID-19 research. We were the first in the country to isolate the virus, the first in the country to establish an animal model that is then being used to test vaccines and antivirals and so on. And since the beginning of last year, have now worked with more than 80 companies, including half of them Canadian companies, on identifying vaccine, therapeutics, and antivirals. We also have our own vaccine in the making. Uh, we were also able to design this vaccine and have it in the lab produced, ready for immunization within four weeks. We were one of the first in the world to have this vaccine in animals. And over the last year, similar to what you just heard, also completed the necessary animal trials to get approval from Health Canada. And our vaccine is now also in phase one trials. Our vaccine is a protein subunit vaccine, which is a well-known technology that has been in humans for many, many years and offers many advantages in that it's uh, actually more stable, easier to store, easier to transport. And uh, because of the adjuvant that we're mixing with it, it gives a very broad immune response, which is great for these variants. What we're also doing here at Vito right now is building a manufacturing facility. And this manufacturing facility is currently underway. It's a 10,000 square foot facility. It's what's called a pilot scale manufacturing facility. And it will enable us to produce both human and animal vaccines here at Vito Intervac. It is also unique in that it is tied in into our biocontainment facility that we operate here at Vito, Canada's largest high containment laboratory, and thus will enable us to work on vaccines for emerging diseases as they emerge. Construction is currently underway. Um, by October, this facility will be um, completed, and then there will be a phase of GMP certification, commissioning of the facility, and so on. And by next year, our facility will be ready to produce vaccines here in Canada. What we also have put forward is a proposal to the federal government, which with support from the provincial government, as well, hopefully also from private donors and the, the uh, municipal government, for Rito really to become Canada's center for pandemic research. We have currently the largest infrastructure for high containment research right here in Saskatoon, which is based on previous investments by, by governments. That includes Canada's largest high containment laboratory, the International Vaccine Center. We're building now an in-house GMP manufacturing facility. And what we, are, what we think is needed to really become one of those centers that can help the country in better preparing for the next emerging disease is having an, an animal facility that allows us to work with a wide range of animals, including bats, insects, ticks, reptiles, and so on. And that's um, a proposal that we put forward but if we wanted to be as a country self-reliant, self-sufficient on domestic manufacturing and research capacity, we think that it is necessary to have these national centers that are specifically focused on emerging diseases. Thank you.